You might look pale. You might be shaky or sweating. You might have a headache or feel hungry or maybe not hunger, but you might experience nausea. Your heart might be beating fast or it might be irregular. You might just feel not yourself, fatigued, just kind of off. Guys, we are talking about the symptoms of low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is a condition in which your blood sugar or blood glucose level is lower than the standard range. Remember, this is important because glucose is our body's main energy source. If we don't have enough glucose, we are not going to feel good, okay? Uh, now, oftentimes when we think about hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, we often think about people who are diabetics or on diabetic medications. But no, 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 no. Uh, other people who are not diabetics can also have low blood sugar. Uh, medication, some medications can cause it illness, um, uh, excessive alcohol consumption. Some people with certain hormone deficiencies, even with certain tumors or other things can actually have low blood sugar. So these are signs and symptoms that really every everyone should understand. So let's go through some of the other symptoms. Other symptoms include people can get irritable, uh, feel anxious, have difficulty concentrating, even have some dizziness or have some problems with their movements and behavior, even may get lightheadedness. That can happen as well. Now, this is the thing, guys. Hypoglycemia, yes, can be dangerous. I'm talking to you about the symptoms, but it can actually be deadly. That's right. I'm going to tell you further symptoms people can get as hypoglycemia gets worse. This is why, guys, when my patients tell me in the office that their sugars are going low or that they've had some hypoglycemia, I act immediately. Um, and by the way, you should too. If your sugars go low, you got to call your doctor, seek medical attention right away. And you're probably wondering, okay, well, what blood sugar is low? Well, for many people, many organizations use a threshold of 70 milligrams per deciliter or 70 or below uh, to indicate uh, hypoglycemia. Now, your numbers might be a little different. You might start to feel um, like you have symptoms of hypoglycemia when your numbers are even higher than 70, but 70 is often a threshold that we use. This is the thing, guys. This video needs to serve as a jump off starting point for you and your doctor to have a conversation because everyone is different. Your doctor may want different numbers for you, so you have to ask your doctor. Um, so keep this in mind. And remember, this is really important because hypoglycemia or low blood sugar is not necessarily just dangerous. It can actually be downright deadly. As the hypoglycemia worsens, you can then get potentially deadly symptoms, confusion, unusual behavior, the inability to complete routine tasks, loss of coordination, slurred speech even. Uh, people can also get blurry vision or tunnel vision as well. And that can then further lead to unresponsiveness. That means loss of consciousness, even seizures. Guys, this can be deadly. The treatment for hypoglycemia, um, no matter how bad or how not bad it is, is getting that sugar up. Um, that can be by eating or drinking things with sugar in it. If you are awake and alert, that can mean uh, doctors in a hospital setting giving certain fluids and things to help your sugar go up if your symptoms are very severe. Remember, severe hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, or if you're worried about it or have symptoms of this, means the hospital ASAP. Mild symptoms of hypoglycemia often can be treated at home, but what that means for you, I can't tell you. You have to talk to your doctor and find out what that means, okay? Don't say, Dr. Jen said, no, Dr. Jen didn't say, Dr. Jen said, talk to your doctor, because this is that important. This video is to let you know how important it is. Uh, remember, severe um, symptoms always means uh, 911 getting to the hospital. Guys, you know, this is really important to keep in mind. Um, you know, keep this in mind. Talk to your friends and family, especially if you have fam friends and family or yourself who are diabetic. But remember, as I said, hypoglycemia or low blood sugar doesn't just affect those who are diabetic. Let me know if you've ever experienced symptoms of hypoglycemia. I, could, I should also say that we can get low blood sugar just from not eating for a, too long of a period of time, right? That can happen happen too. Um, but let me know if this has ever happened to you. Uh, let me know what your experience has been. Uh, please share this video with other people you think it might benefit. Uh, for those of you on Facebook, please uh, like and follow my page. For those of you who send stars, I respond personally. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, guys, check out my website, drjencarlo.com. You can sign up for my free health newsletter, also for my daily health tips and so much more. All right, guys, stay safe.